So let's send in the gas because we can. We're very nice like that. That should deal with all of that. That should decimate them immediately. Not bad. All on the while in the trench. Because again, that is also what we are like on this channel. Welcome back everybody to another Moist Tea Gaming video. We have recently smashed through Dunkirk, Calais, Haysbrook is now on the verge of collapse, which will shorten our line, meaning we can then press forward more. This will be the second recording with the patch working with the game, meaning if you have been following, this death stack of planes and tanks will no longer give me, give me 100 supply for each, making things a little bit more difficult. And various other fixes. If you are wondering what the patch notes are, I gradually went through them in a video. It won't be too difficult to find. It's not the most entertaining video. I just did it really quick, I'm not going to lie. But... It is my opinion on certain aspects of it. You can see the full list of changes. Technology-wise, we have the lethal mustard gas. We've got the tanks. I do want the tank advancement. I want to see what this Storm Panzer Wagon is all about. And the Flak Panzer. I want to have a gander at this. Other things that I want include... The undermining, this one, I want this one next. That should be entertaining. And then we can start working our way towards the Flak Panzer just to have a look at what that is. And various other bits. There's not really any new weapons. Snipers, they're going to be good. But also very limited to some degree. Having more improved planes for me will be nice. Maybe if they were in the air for a little bit longer, that would be good. We've already got the machine gun improvements. There is one where yeah, duration of all air missions by 20 seconds, which if you have a few planes in the air will actually add up to a considerable number. Might even start investing in building airfields and things. Simply because now we don't actually get supply from the unit itself. Having the airfields and mechanics will give us some of that supply back. So that is definitely something to consider. It's knocking about down here somewhere. Uh, this one here. Increases the supply granted by tank battalions by five. Which doesn't sound like much. But it's better than nothing I suppose. I mean if we have a death stack of... And we'll get 50 supply, which is enough to replace... And it's not even enough to replace one tank at the beginning. And then we've got the upgraded one. Which does make more of a difference. And then further on and further on. So, we'll see. Having these gives us the, the free supply, which is very nice. So, each unit has its own in, uh, supply input. But it's only the infantry which do that now. And then we have the global supply, which we can tap into, which we can top up with gold purchases. And then you usually get a bit in battles anyway. But that, if if you start running low on that, then you're going to need to start buying some, which is not ideal. If we have the other things involved, then you end up getting the free stuff. But then you also have to weigh up if it's going to be worth the investment now, because buying them... For example, the air force airfield here, 300 quid. That is actually quite nice. Increases the supply granted by air wings by 20. That's actually not bad at all. It changes things, that patch. Waffled on a little bit there. I do apologise. Let's go and finish off Haysbrook. This reckons it will be another stalemate. I certainly don't think so. We've got the British tanks in. Air Force... From both and various other bits of infantry. We have the Raiders. I don't know if... Oh, they're the Gurkhas. They might be the Gurkha Raiders. 
we have to watch them for attacking our tanks. I'm yet to see the enemy use siege artillery. Let's go finish them off. We do still have plenty of supply here. We've got 13 standard infantry corps and 6 elites, which does give us a lot of infantry and lots of supplies to use to obliterate the enemy. Which if you have been following this channel, we do that a lot. War Crime Central here, if you like that kind of thing, then stick around. Today I quite fancy gassing some of them out for whatever particular reason that is. Let's have a gander. This is the trench work. The barbed wire isn't here. That is concerning. Does that mean barbed wire does not persist? There's bits of it there. Oh no, it does persist. It is there. It's just difficult to see. Okay, barbed wire does persist. That is good because we plucked the Lord uh, down before and it we had to build it all again. But anyway, yeah, I'll just sort this out. Oh, I know why some of this got deleted. Some of this got deleted because we had our tanks there and it kind of messed it up a little bit. We can add to it, I suppose. Don't really see the point, though, to be completely honest. I'd rather have the extra supply to blow them up to some degree. Not entirely sure what this trench is doing here. I don't remember putting that there. Might be one that I missed from deletion. Is there? There's got to be a way to delete trenches. I can't quite remember how to do it. If anybody knows how, do let me know. It would also be nice if we could change these trenches. I think there are still more improvements to be made. For example, this comms trench. Surely you can dig that up or just increase the diggage and stick another trench on top of it. That would be ideal. Because last time the enemy had a gander over here and I left it a little bit exposed. Yes, that was my fault, but still. Trenches are getting more developed. We have the barbed wire running across all the way there now. Elites, I've got some MGs and the usual bits of blap here. Not too bothered about this because I wanted to keep more supply for the murdering of the enemy. Got a mortar just in case. This will cover all of this just in case the enemy decide to get inside the comms trench somehow. I can't see it happening. I have placed two MGs over here to help cover this section. I can't be having what nearly happened to happen again. The enemy managed to slip one over here and it was not in the firing arc of our units there. I wish I could place a firing trench here but the game won't let me because we've already got a comms trench there. I've gone for more artillery this time. Eight units of arty, six heavies and two lights. I'm going to start utilizing them even more. Six tanks and then we have this over here with our units ready to go. They do have tanks of their own available so I'm going for four storms and four grenadiers couple of MGs floating around and the elites ready to guard the area. Sounds good to me. All of this interconnecting comms trench at the rear of all these will be easy to reinforce because we are not going to lose any point at all. That is the goal here. With it being quite a complicated system, these mortars will rain down death on anybody that does decide to use them that is an us not that i think they're going to get that far anyway these artillery actually have some nice camouflaging on them i'm not too sure if you'll be able to see that but the lights are more camouflaged whereas the heavies aren't actually built a advanced firing Battle. trench here well the the intermediate one and at least anyway it does differ it does actually look like a proper trench this time compared to something like this, which is a bit rough and ready. This is just in case the enemy do decide to start bombarding our troops here. This is a bit of a weak point. And the advanced trench will protect our troops more considerably. Again though, with the new update, you can't see where their balloon is or anything, but our balloon is supreme in the air, so we can... Oh, this train's derailed. They, uh going to be an issue later on. But yes, let's have a gander and get this balloon up in the air so we can see what they're doing. Oh, I've just remembered as well. Space does pause. Excellent. 
any Paradox player will be creaming over that one. Their artillery is right back there. A balloon is over here and they have a few entrenchments. They've got barbed wire on the go, but they seem to have... No, no, they've, just, they've got just as many. Field mortars have received a large buff. Need to be wary of them. This is why I've gone for more heavy artillery. Take care of the emplacements and to help take care of the enemy artillery itself. Having more than the enemy means we can just attack things more willy-nilly. I want to be able to eliminate these mortars quicker. I want to eliminate the other emplacements quicker. I want to be able to have a one or two spare so I can gas out a replen point, for example. Things like that. I think more artillery is the answer. Let's see what we can do with it. First things first, we're going to get a balloon busting mission in with two air superiorities. And blow these to bits. We have... Well, there's the enemy tanks. We have... Three heavies on each with a suppression fire on them as well. Hopefully this will deal significant damage to them. They have planes coming in on their own. Need to make sure we protect our balloon. It would appear that they're going over towards it. Gonna have to put it down. I'm not risking it. Because they do that a lot. Wait for our guns to reload. Now we are taking care of them a little bit at least. Seem to be. I'm not sure if we're going to win that engagement, not going to lie. We've already lost one. We might be about to lose the other. We have, but we have friends coming in. Their balloon is done. Our... Oh, look at all those shells. I'm going to go for another barrage on this. Just because we can, I like to make them all synchronised. I will pause for this. Keep forgetting that we actually have several of these available now. One of them is expiring. Get it over there. Throw the suppressions in as well. They don't do as much, but they do a little bit. That's their planes out the way. Our artillery is thoroughly going. Excellent. Thoroughly smashing the enemy now. Let's get our balloon back up in the air. I'm not too worried about spending a little bit of time on this, seeing as we do have an extra five minutes. Look at that, our artillery's being done. That is good news. Might even just get a bomber plane over to deal the final blow once we have one more barrage on this extra field one here. They're sending a scouting party over. This going to get blat. deaded they should now in theory as well not keep going trying this method once you take out their balloon they do this quite a lot but they should be smarter now so they don't keep doing it on the same areas for example should be very good they were the Indian infantry that means their raiders might be flown in about there's one of their tanks that's the MG one they have, oh, right, they've slowed down a bit. That is the, that's the big boy. That's the one which will potentially destroy our tanks. We need to be wary of that. Our artillery is ready again. Let's go for a synchronous bombardment. I want all of it gone. And then we can send in the planeage to deal with the remnants of it. Excellent job. Let's have a look. That's everything on it. Yeah, that's... That's not nice. That is just deleted at this point. We'll send a bomber in regardless. Just because we can. We're gonna have to send a couple of supply... Not supply, air superiority on it as well. These all will still fire, I believe. It's too active. Too active there, too active there. I just want to try and eliminate them as best as I can. Having these covering the bomber, it should take care of them. I'm hoping it doesn't deviate from attacking that, because they might go for the trench. Hopefully it behaves. It should go to the designated target first, and then start dealing damage to 
anything that's nearest. Oh, don't go for that. Please just turn around. Now oh, it's attacking that. Not the intended target. That might have just been the passing one. No, it's not doing what I want. Never mind. It's still sending units up this way. There's the Gurkhas. Yeah, more Indians. Murdered. Never mind. The artillery is going to stay there, but I don't care at this point now. Let's get these in a nice, juicy line. That way, they will be somewhat resistant to artillery attacks, at least to the point where they're not all going to get hit by the same one. Artillery is one of the big threats here. Now we can deal with some of these mortar emplacements that they have as well. Let's sort that out. Pause it for a second. I do believe two heavies and one light. Oop, wrong button. Two heavies and one light will eliminate one mortar emplacement. So we'll do that with these two. Just like that. The MGs I'm not too worried about. All of these troops here I'm not too worried about. The ones I'm watching for are the elites. They have the snipers in now. Only them. And the Grenadiers. The Grenadiers will destroy our tanks. So there's a few of them here. So I won't be sending them directly into that. Their tanks themselves. The one with the cannons on it will be more damaging to our tanks as well. Our bomber might even start dealing with that. And we've got a few more emplacements over here which we can start hammering. The infantry that they have, I'm hoping our tanks will deal the most damage to. We can have these in a hotkey one. And send them up, shall we? Let's start this off. All artillery, artillery is going. It's very nice. Literally destroying them. I'm not going to send our infantry up just yet. Uh, in fact, I might even start doing that just in case the tanks start to have a gander. We don't want that. I'm selecting too many units there. There we go. You get in there. They do run very slowly across this thick snow. There's the artillery. Just turn them around a little bit. Start getting these further up as well. If we just tell them to go in that general direction, they should get up there and be eliminated by the time they make it, because they're not the fastest on this thick now, thick snow, especially over here. Their artillery is mostly finished now, so we're going to start moving these forwards. Their tank is on the way. Our artillery is ready. We don't have any more placements we need to worry about over in this direction. Their bomber could potentially be an issue. We are shooting it. We have plenty more. The forward cannon is doing the job and has eliminated that tank with ease. Excellent job. They are elites just over there. We can do with eliminating them. These units are going to get black. Their morale has just disappeared because we have lots of tanks roaming around them. Oh, their tanks are over here now. We need to start dealing with that. You need to go home really quickly. Our tanks are shooting back. Looks a little bit messy, but we've done it. Excellent job. Now we just need to get these troops back over here. We've got over here with minimal casualties, which is very nice. Well, we just wipe the floor with the rest of these. There's no grenadiers here, so I'm not particularly worried about anything. We're even hitting the units over here. They've got a small tank, a whippet. That should just have a little MG on it, so that won't really pose a threat. Excellent job. All this is pretty much done. We need to turn these so the MGs can actually shoot at them. Where they are best, just leave them running around like that for the time being. While that's happening, I'm going to send up one elite unit from this, now two actually, just because the enemy will probably send a couple of units down this way to hopefully take care of it. Now that's pretty much dealt with, I'm going to leave one tank there, move these units up. I do have a cunning plan. 
as to how to not have to deal with the command trench itself. They will be able to regen from that point, however, if I do this right, we shouldn't have to waste men taking over it. Now that tank is fairly tired, I'm going to get a replacement in. They are being hammered by the forward cannon, it's aiming at it, it's not going to do anything to ours. Excellent job, once that's in position, we are good to go. I want them to surrender by the time we get down there. I'm going to have this tank, which is a bit on its last legs, to help with the defence of that section, because they will be regening from that area. I'm hoping the plane troops do some significant damage to them. Now we need to work over here a little bit carefully, because these grenadiers will cut us to pieces, at least tanks to pieces anyway. We could just wriggle them around and start having these troops moving ready into that section of trench. Just because then they'll be ready to move across over to B. We'll get these ones in that section. But we are slowly eliminating these. They can't do anything really. They're shooting the rifles at them, but it's not going to do that much against the tank. Get more of them in the action so the damage is spread out. They will be able to replen from this point, but they should be smarter about doing it now, which is good. As long as we keep our distance, we should be able to eliminate all of these very easily. These snipers I want rid of. The main cannon is shooting then as well. Nice. This is going relatively easy. Oh, we're about to lose a tank. I didn't see it. We lost it. Never mind. Doesn't matter, really. They do take damage. They're not as robust as what they were. You do have to keep an eye on them. Infantry does eventually start taking them out, but it takes a lot of doing. They're sending units over. All of this is asking for some serious war crimes to happen. I did promise you some war crimes in this episode. So we're going to get the mustard gas in while we're getting ready for that. We could just send a couple of units over to take care of this. We'll do with taking care of that MG before they get giddy. Moves a lot over I suppose. I want to gas them out at the same time. Need that mortar gone. We'll deal with that. Get rid of that MG, please, chaps. Thank you. So let's send in the gas because we can. We're very nice like that. That should deal with all of that. This should deal with both of them. And that should deal with them. But this mustard gas is not nice stuff. As you can see, it melts every bit of biological matter which is inside it. Our tanks, I don't know if they're immune to it, but I don't necessarily want to send them through it. They are somehow not in the area, which is getting slaughtered. They are now sending units from up here, but they're going to get burnt alive. Just like that. Lovely jubbly. Stinged more baguettes. Let's send... Oh, they're asking for a ceasefire. Do we do it? Oh, we might as well. They have surrendered. Accept the surrender. Yes, we will. This means we've just won. We do get the capture points by doing that. I did get challenged by a man who comments regularly on this channel to get less than 10 casualties. This might be close. Oh, it's not quite. <laughs> Nearly, we got 40. That's uh, the least I'm, I've had to date. We can probably screenshot that and send it off somewhere. We murdered less of them, but they gave up, I believe. They spent a bit of supply on tanks and things. Excellent job. Another region captured. Excellent. Morale is down even more. We have taken Hayes Brook. 
We're going to need to move our units back into Calais because we're just going to keep pushing uh, along here until the enemy is run dry. Doing this will gradually shorten their, their lines, actually. And ours, but more theirs than ours, so it could become a more intense battle as we start progressing down here. These units in Wypress and Dunkirk we can have in Haysbrook ready to go. We can also actually have several of these units into Calais, giving us more supply. That's a good idea, because this shortens our line. Let's get them in Calais. How many units do we have in Calais now? Because half the units run over, we've got six infantry there. I mean, that's going to be enough, you think. Get all of those units in Calais as well. We need some planage floating around. I'll just stick them all everywhere. That will be fine. The siege art. Oh, we can't really move any of that. We need to pass the turn, really. Yeah, we're going to have to do that. We're going to have to make sure we hold on to Haysbrook. The enemy haven't yet decided to attack us. Not sure if they have any money because of the sheer amount of debt they are probably in. We're going to have to end the turn. Let's see. Ooh, what's this? Reassignment. Oh, yes. Excellent. Infantry corps have been reassigned from the Russian front and are ready for orders. Finally, I was really hoping that this would happen. Excellent. Ooh, what is this? Death in the air. A devastating influenza pandemic is raging through Germany, along with the rest of the world. That's not ideal. With the war raging, resources are scarce and aiding all the victims of the disease is a huge drain on the country. Right. Focus aid on military and supplies. This will reduce our supplies a bit. And the national will will go down. Or distribute aid equally. Well, that's aid everyone, isn't it? I mean, we've got the money and the national will will go down all the bits. I mean, I'd rather keep hold of the money. Morally, we should aid everybody, but it's only a game, so I don't care. I'd rather keep the money and lose a bit of supply, so we'll go for that. Focused aid. Our military still suffers from the flu, but with the medical aid and impact is relatively low. However, many areas of the country are suffering greatly with likely long-lasting economic and political effects. Well, hopefully we won't be that here for very long. That won't be our problem. Here is... Ooh, this is a juicy one. Russia and Germany sign treaty. With the birth of the Soviet Union, the new government had no interest in continuing the war with Germany. Russia declared that the formation of a new government voided all agreements with the Allies. In addition, they ceded territory in the Baltic states to Germany and recognized Ukraine as an independent nation. Germany agreed to cease all hostilities but refused to recognize Poland as an independent nation, stating that the future of Poland will be decided later. This agreement allowed Russia to focus on its own internal civil war and Germany to concentrate fully on the Western Front. Giving us... Oh wow, that hurt the uh, Allies a bit. Last legs, the enemy position is... Genius at best, if I said that right. Their failure to gain any traction has been noticed and their civilian population has been quick to call them out and strangle their support. It is only a matter of time before they fall. And we have a juicy stack of infantry units which we can just splash around. I'm hoping to use them all on the assault, giving us that huge advantage that we had before let's just have a quick double check on all the front lines i'll do that so you don't have to see it currently you could do with an extra one nine versus six then that's not too bad lil could also use one then it's five versus eight oh i hate it when this happens this is a bug that annoys me it keeps popping up with that 
Warte auf Befehle. We need to reorganize Haysbrook slightly. They have 10 in Bray Les Bizur. So we need to make sure we've got seven in Haysbrook just to be safe. They will probably attack there if anywhere. Better keep hold of that. In fact, yeah, just to make sure. I'm going to have eight in Haysbrook. There's no way they'll get through then. I'm also going to make sure there is a field hospital and a supply depot too, just in case we've got the cash. The rest of these four other infantry units can go into Calais. Everywhere is nice and strong. We could do with having a couple of tanks around here. We need one, two, three, four. Then everywhere has access to tanks. We're going to keep our master stack available there. You can always just purchase them now. It costs around two grand. One in Lyon, one in Noyon, one in Pyrenees, one in Lille. We accidentally did another one, so that's going over to Calais. Let's see what the enemy has over here. They've got tanks, a few airplanes, and a few other bits. We could start smashing them, I suppose. What do we actually have available here? Because half the army was moved. Got the elites that aren't there yet. We've got lots of infantry that isn't yet there yet. I'm just gonna wait another turn because I can. We're in no rush. Might encourage the enemy to even attack us. That would be nice. And we're gonna use this death from below. I wanna see a big explosion. Just gonna end the turn so we can have access to the ultimate death stack. Ah, they don't attack again. Let's have a look at what else we can get. We have three tech points to play with. Hmm. We can go with the tank reinforcement. I might do that next. Not too bothered about the upgraded MGs or barbed wire because they just don't come at me. Increased bomber health. Well, all the health of all the aircraft. Not too bothered. We don't really lose any. Having the movement speed might be a nice one, but I'm not going to go through the health one to get it. Having improved airfields might be nice. The garage might be a good one. Oh, it's only five per. If we go for this, it increase, increases it by ten each, which is nicer. Not that much supply added, really. This is a better option for the immediate now. Get four new infantry cores. That will give us an extra 400 supply on the death stack of doom. Well, let's go for the tank reinforcement first and see how we go. I want to make sure... Oh, what's this? Oh, I'm not too bothered about that. Yeah, well, I want the uh, Flak Panzer. I just want to have a look at it. I want to see that squirting at the enemy. So all our tanks should now be improved. Everything here should be available. If I can click it correctly. Yes, it is. I'm going to treat you to another battle in this turn. Just because I'm nice like that and I want to start getting to the Allies campaign on elite difficulty. That should be rather juicy. The enemy have more things in Bray la Bizur. Yes, that's how I apparently say that now. So let's go for the more difficult battle. This says it's going to be a minor victory. We've got the French tanks in there. A couple of British ones, I think. It shows the British one on there. I don't know. The Australians are here. Let's go and murder some people. What's this? Are they raiders? Oh, they are raiders. Okay, their grenades look a little bit different. and They've got a nice fluffy coat on. But regardless, let's get in there again and see what chaos we could do. This area was known for its coal mines until they closed in the 1960s. There's plenty of areas like that where I live. Living in the north of England, this all used to be pretty much coal mines and mills back in the day. This is an interesting map. Long and skinny. Fairly untouched. We haven't had a battle here yet, so it's about to turn into a mess. Only some spirodic artillery fire has happened so far, apparently. 
Let's build up some trench work. Here we have it. This is the beginning. Done this trench work, author by Y. Pretty standard for me. Two MGs up here covering the planks a bit. And the forward. Forward is very strong. Planks are partially covered. They could be reinforced easily from anything down here. One thing I would like to add with the patch notes, it means that if you are running across and the enemy are also running across, when they meet, they will begin hand to hand combat. Meaning, if they were to take Y, for example, and you needed to resupply from this area, you could happily stop them running across. A very good thing to have. So I've done the same thing in Y that what I have in. The command trench, apart from having the MGs further forward, because they will cover this area in case the enemy get giddy. Got plenty of MGs floating around this front section to help make sure that the enemy don't get any silly ideas. Going for eight heavy artilleries only here. Not going to bother with the suppression. Haven't seemed to use it that much lately. We've got the balloon, which should cover most things. Comms trench running all the way down here. This is the tanks. We're going to start using this area as the staging ground. Let me know what you think about that in the comments. We couldn't see what the enemy had in terms of trench work until just now. So let's have a gander. I'm going to put the balloon up. Probably eliminate theirs first thing and start bombing their artillery to smithereens. Now we can see enough, their balloon is there straight away. Let's get a balloon busting mission in, followed by two air superiorities. Their artillery is knocking about there. The Australians are here, there's quite a number of those. They don't have very good coverage to what the enemy actually has. This will make attacking a little bit more difficult. There is their tank. The little French one. Oh, that has a normal cannon on it, not the MG, I believe. The balloon should go down in a moment if the planes decide it is for the best. Hopefully they'll turn around and do something about it. While we wait, we can bombard this artillery to bits. Just because it's nice and synchronous. Gonna have all eight heavy artillery batteries firing on this. That should decimate them immediately. Certainly would have liked that. Looks pretty good if they if you can still see them all. Not bad. All eight of them are firing. And that's them dead. There's only one that somehow survived. Well, that's not a bother. We can just wait for reload. The tank is floating around, and now they're going to send a few scouting parties. They're going to do this from B, by the looks of things. Not really around here. Want to watch out for their grenadiers. We could do the usual trick of starting to send these forward. I would like to start bombing their... Other artilleries, we can have our bomb plane floating around. Hopefully that will find them. Here come the enemy troops. Sorry Australia, but your countrymen are about to be murdered. I'm a big fan of Australia. I was there for two years and I loved it. I would love if I could go back and live there properly. That would be great. Off the go, getting smashed. Immediately run into a wall of lead. Now the Frenchmen are going to do it. Never been to France, somewhere else I would like to go. Excellent job. Murdered thoroughly. Can't actually see if they have any more artillery. They might not, you know. Depends what our bomber decides to target. It's floating around over here. Oh, it's shooting things this direction. That might be where some more is. Oh, let's just blow it up. Let's do that. Their trench work doesn't extend that far, so that must be artillery, because it's not going to be anything else on replacement or anything. So whatever is there is certainly going to get obliterated. 
Now we need to start thinking about going up here. Pretty confident most of their artillery is going to be gone now. Oh, where wow, we saw the... Oh, I'd never noticed that before. We just saw the reflection of our plane in the river. Hopefully we'll do that again. That was quite nice. There it is. Ah, oh, yeah, look at that. That's a very cool feature. I like that. Let's get the tanks forward. We'll have them on a hotkey one. Once that's fairly safe, we'll start moving up the troops. Now, we do want to send the troops in pretty much at the same time because the tanks aren't great at spotting the enemy. Their little whippet plane just went through a house. Was that necessary, Frenchman, really? I don't think there's enough blown up, but okay. We could gas this out, but I don't really see that as being necessary. We could bombard it with lots of artillery, but again, I don't really see that as necessary. The damage that we get taken from the attack of this will probably be enough to have to want replacing one of them, perhaps. And there's no point really damaging them. Well, we could, we could. We'll make it a little bit quicker, I suppose. Should we? Yeah, I saw it. Right. Let's bombard the entire area. Actually, no, I'll hold off in case they have. Ooh, that was close. Maybe sneaky and just go this way a little bit. They do have artillery. They have the one over there. One of them must have sufficient shells in. Of the uh, batteries, sorry, so we've missed one, that is for sure. Did we just shoot their tank? Oh, we're shooting their tank. A little whippet thing is shooting ours back. Dead. Excellent. And then we we'll start murdering the Australians in the trenches. We we'll have to start moving our troops up. Do this while it's paused because we can get them moving up. They are on the way, the tanks are clearing it for them. Hopefully there won't be any raiders in here. Can't see any mortars at this point, there's one. We can move our tanks away from that area while we bombard it. We should do the trick, just about in range. That will clear that, once that is done we'll move them more into that direction. Their artillery is being persistent again. Keep trying to get us. They have another one over here. Just saw it whizzing over. Could do with spotting it, really. There. Let's blow that one up too. Need to keep an eye on these little things that we keep seeing. That's not really in range, but it will stop it from firing. They are reinforcing this section. We have to send more on this one because half of them will probably miss. That is pretty much done. The tanks are definitely not as good as what they were before. Our units are approaching. The thought of approaching. Let's just find out what happens in a little bit with them. They have another set of units coming across. We'll get a harassment plane in. That should deal with those. They have units at the back here. They are disconnected. They have them there as well, but for some reason we can't seem to shoot them. I don't think. Maybe they are dead. Let's send our troops forward slightly. Don't want to get too near anything that can hurt us. That is the only problem. Shooting them from the side, the Australians in the trenches. There's the Grenadiers. Those are the people we need to watch for. We can just blow them up. That would be excellent. Send some artillery on that section. Those can get the trench. That would be ideal. Slowly murdering them now. Their little tank is going to get decimated there. Have units running out of there. Which are encroaching now on our positions down here. That's what it looks like they're going. Unless these units are heading towards our units which are gradually moving across. I'm not sure what they were doing, but they're sort of there. 
We've got more grenadiers over here. We can blow those up. Let's send three heavies on it to make sure they really do get blown up. Our tanks are clearing this section. I'm going to get another tank in just to replace the one that we've lost. We'll have it stuck around there somewhere. Or we start wriggling our way around this section. Well, I can't see anything that will hurt us there. We have another little tank rummaging around over here. They are still alive from that bombardment somehow. They are just out of range for these. Hopefully losing those few might pop them over the edge. There we go, that's done. We should be capturing this section now. Just like that. These units are going to get blat. Done. These units are attacking our tanks. But they are getting blapped. We did upgrade our tanks, didn't we? That's it. We have more units in here that are attacking us. We can start bombarding them. We've just got to be careful. We don't want to go against any raiders that we cannot see. We can start hitting them. They can only resupply from this area over here, but they shouldn't do that anymore, actually. Just to blow them all to bits for a little bit. Because we can. Could gas them, but I like it when there's a bit more of them in one area to do that. One thing I'm a bit wary of, if, if all the raiders come out of this area, then we're going to be in a bit of trouble. We need this tank to get up here and support the others. This one too. These are going to be a little bit knackered now. These, for some reason, have a supply boost. Not sure what that's about. We've still got units in this bit of trench. Go for the bits which haven't been blown up as much. Well, that should deal with that. Send that one home. And just get the rest of these roaming around a little bit. Hopefully we will spot anybody that decides to have a bit of a gander. Now we can start sending these units in. It should be clear. We have these units which are a little bit stuck. They do behave much better than what they did, but it's still not perfect. Need rid of these. They should be being dealt with now. Oh, murdered. They won't throw grenades because they don't do that, these normal riflemen. Oh no! There we go. That is the threat. We've just lost the tank because we couldn't see the raiders. Let's blow them to bits. That is what I was wary of. They won't like that artillery being thrown at them. Did a mistake. Should have been a little bit more careful, but that is the risk that you face. We're going to slow the send units down here. We might even get that zero casualties, or at least less than 10 casualties in our team. That is what we're aiming for here. Don't think we've lost one man yet. We can just make them submit. That'd be great. Might even have one troop just up here. Just to stop them from having any funny ideas. Now, all this area is looking like it just needs gassing. Not going to lie, we could do that and send the Air Force in. We haven't seen too much of them lately. Let's get a few harassment planes in. We have lots of supply. Let's just murder them all. Get a couple of bombers in as well. Let's truly see if they have fixed... The bugs. We'll get a couple of air uh, superiorities in as well. Let's just see what happens. It would be nice if we could see it all. They're all going to reach their targets and get murdered. We could go for the gas attack as well because that's just the way that we are. And even bombard them while they're in the trench because, again, that is also what we are like on this channel help finish them off. All these bombers are coming in for further attacks. Australian retreated. French. All being slapped on the French. Not going to like that very much, are they? They're all being decimated now. The bombers, here we go. Right. 
How many casualties did we take? Accept surrender? Yes. Excellent job. What do you think? Let me know in the comments what your predictions are. Did we lose any men? Let me know what you think. Oh, let's go. We've lost a couple of tanks, perhaps. Excellent, there we go. Luba, if you are watching this, I have done your challenge. Excellent job. We lost one tank, made a profit, and murdered everybody. Excellent. Supply is good. We're getting... Oh, gold reserves spent. And gold supply spent. It says plus, so does that mean we're getting more? <laughs> Okie dokie. National world reduced further. We're not so far off now. We've got the three observation balloons and we also got the eight mortar emplacements thoroughly destroyed. What is going on? Oh, it just had a little bit of a rejig then. Excellent job. I'm going to leave this episode here. I hope you've enjoyed this slightly longer episode. Let me know if you want slightly longer ones in the future. Want to get to the Allies campaign as soon as I can on Elite Difficulty. We are certainly not far off from it now. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you do stick around. Make sure that you press the notification bell. There's probably going to be some extra videos on other topics coming on soon-ish. So make sure you've got that on so you don't miss out. Thank you again and I'll see you later. Cheers.